Skywatch Media News for December 22nd, 2021. In recent weeks and months, the sun has been showing signs of increased activity in the form of coronal mass ejections and solar flares, many of which have been Earth-directed. On December 20th, our planet was placed on high alert when two big solar flares were forecast to be ejected from the sun as a pocket of fast solar wind from a coronal hole appears to be overperforming. The Earth's recent encounters with solar storms have been steadily weakening the planet's protective field, allowing solar particles to move further towards the equator. With the magnetic poles wandering from their current positions, a reversal would then be expected to occur at some future time. If you are a sky watcher who wants to be dazzled by a spectacular display put on by the Northern Lights, your best bet was to be situated in regions closer to the North Pole. But the lights have been on the move these days, which means that folks in the U.S. southern states have enjoyed a brief but spectacular glimpse of the colorful red and green hues appearing in the sky. There is no doubt that the magnetic field is changing, and along with it the magnetic movement of the poles. But this is not the first time that a significant disruption in the Earth's magnetic field has occurred. Some 41,000 years ago, a major disruption in the magnetic field sent auroras wandering towards the equator. This disturbance was known as the Lachamp excursion, in which the magnetic poles weakened and the magnetic field tilted on its axis. The tilt lessened the magnetic pull that directs the flow of high-energy magnetic particles towards the two poles and instead dispersed them outwards across the globe. It took 1,300 years for the magnetic field to strengthen and for the tilt to correct itself. During those years, the solar particles strayed near equatorial latitudes, where they are typically never seen. The period of geomagnetic change caused changes in the Earth's atmosphere, thereby affecting living conditions in various parts of the world. The magnetic field originated from our planet's molten core, the sloshing near the Earth's center, coupled with the planet's rotation to generate magnetic poles at the surface near the north and south ends. The magnetic field lines then connect the poles in curving arcs. The lines form a protective zone known as the magnetosphere, which protects the planet from radioactive particles. The magnetosphere also protects the atmosphere from being worn away by solar wind or particle flares that are blasted outward by the sun. The side of the Earth that faces the sun bears the brunt of the solar wind, where the magnetosphere is compressed anywhere from 6 to 10 times the Earth's radius, whereas on the nighttime side, the magnetosphere streams outward into space, extending for hundreds of Earth lengths. What happened 41,000 years ago was that the magnetosphere's strength plummeted to about 4% of its recent values, and it also tilted on its side. According to investigations conducted in the past, it was previously thought that the magnetosphere disappeared completely on the day side, which faces the brunt of the solar winds. But the most recent models tend to differ with previous analysis. The most recent data compiled on the planet's magnetism from ancient rock sediments as well as volcanic data during the Lachamp period indicate that although the magnetosphere shrank to about three and a half times the Earth's radius, it did not disappear entirely. Instead, what happened during this period of time was a reversal excursion in which the magnetic strength dropped enough to allow the poles to move toward equatorial latitudes and the solar particles that produce the auroras 
followed the movement of the poles. At that time in our Earth's history, the geomagnetic tilt was greatly skewed from its geographic location, which allowed the auroras to follow the magnetic poles and relocate towards the equator. The Lachamp excursion led to a decline in habitability and was responsible for plunging the Earth into an environmental crisis. The new models are suggesting that this was the likely outcome of the magnetic pole shift in the prehistoric period 41,000 years ago. The new data is disconcerting because earlier this year, researchers had found that a weakened magnetosphere would have easily been penetrated by the solar winds, leading to a damaged ozone layer, to climate upheaval, and to the eventual extinction of entire species. The animation from the European Space Agency is showing how the Earth's magnetic field is weakening, specifically in the area of the South Atlantic, where the white dots on the map indicates instances in which the satellite detected radiation, in which you can see the frequency increasing over a period of time between April of the year 2014 and August of 2019. Although the findings are not indicative of a cause and effect relationship between magnetic changes and ecological repercussions on Earth, the findings provide some insight on the predictions of what may be taking place on our planet at this time. With the magnetic field in a state of declination, there is a tendency for volcanic activity to increase, and that is exactly what we are witnessing in locations across the globe. On December 20th, an intense powerful explosion took place in the South Pacific near the island of Tonga. The volcano, Hunge Hape, produced a massive gas cloud some 59,000 feet into the atmosphere. The loud explosion was heard more than 150 miles away in nearby islands. The Tonga Geological Services put out a warning that the dust and gas from the explosion could result in acidic rainfall if mixed with moisture in the atmosphere, potentially poisoning drinking water and damaging skin and eyes of those who come in contact with the toxic mixture. Spectacular bursts of lightning were also present at the top of the cloud formation. Coincidentally, the last eruption of this volcano began on December the 19th, 2014, and ended on January the 23rd of 2015. That eruption created a new island, which is now the site of the latest eruption. Here are a few of the major eruptions that recently took place as the year draws to a close.
Have a safe and joyous Christmas, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.